the beta wants to be kept safe by an alpha. Now, weaker people, which I mean, I say lower self-esteem, less aggressive people, how about that? Weak self, charge word I don't necessarily want to use, uh, can be susceptible to political philosophy along the lines of, well, powerful people, confident people, are in charge because they're bullies. And so, we should have more of a society where there's less powerful people in charge and weak people have the same say. So there becomes sometimes a resentment of power in variety, varying ways. And so you can have betas that, even though on a core level they want involvement with a dominant alpha, what they're actually going to, uh, they're going to go after somebody who's much more beta and they're going to try and, you know, live in rebellion against their basic design, you know, because it feels exciting. Lots of things that are wrong feel exciting, right? And so, even as they're making this big statement about, like, you know, we don't need alphas, you know, we don't need dominant, aggressive, we don't need people telling us what to do, we can be totally democratic in our situation. In fact, they are both susceptible to any sort of aggressive, flirtatious alpha who strikes the fancy of either of them. And so they're both susceptible to being stolen by an alpha, believe it or not. And so, anyway, I think it's, this is the reason that a uh, beta will undo a romantic connection, is because they thought they wanted something that wasn't an alpha, but they really wanted the alpha. So it would have been the shortcut just to pick the alpha. Okay. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, pray more, complain less.